and listen to that mess right there man and this is right here on the edge of the street right in front of my gate and let's walk behind this gate and listen to this shit it don't help much does it This noise is terrible, man. I and mean, it's ridiculous. It ain't right to have to live like this and listen to this type of noise inside your house, man. It's ridiculous. It's wrong and it's against the law. Well, they're real concerned about Eric Snowden, aren't they? They're, they're real concerned about anybody that crosses them, but they're not concerned about the noise ordinance. They're not concerned about the Second Amendment and upholding the Constitution. They're dismantling this country is what they're doing, folks. Those of you who don't know, don't do you no good to know it because ain't nothing you can do about it anyway. Just eat shit and live, man. But I always thought these people at Publix were good and decent people. You know, they believed in God and believed in keeping the law and uh, maintaining the respect, you know. If you lose respect, you ain't got nothing. And I'm not respecting this company right here. The way they're running this, man, they're breaking the law. And anybody over here is breaking the law. Just because you're working for a big company doesn't mean you're not breaking the law, man. You're absolutely breaking the law. And then they came out here that time, that same sh paper shredder right there humming away. That's, you know, this is after they spent 8000 on it. So they said. So it was... Uh, a hell of a lot louder than it is right now, which is hard to believe, isn't it? And I went to jail for two days, $200 fine for disturbing the peace and resisting arrest when I said, you can't arrest me, I ain't done nothing. That was Officer Johnston here at LPD, Lakeland, Florida Police Department. I said, I, you can't arrest me, I, have, I haven't done nothing. He said, that's it, resisting arrest and disturbing the peace. How convenient. So the Lakeland Police Department lost all respect and Publix at the same time. And they think they don't care, you know, but when they find out, you know, when they, when they find out that they've lost respect, well, that's when people start uh, finding out that maybe they do care. Because uh, Americans have a tendency to make people care that don't care. But right now, our lawyers, you know, it's like that book, The End of Lawyers. They're only interested in a train wreck or a, or a divorce or collision of some kind. Same difference, right? Same difference. <laughs> it looks like that dumbass parked over here earlier, man. That really Yeah, if we didn't have to listen to this damn paper shredder and the horn blowing all night long, it'd be a good place to live with no neighbors. And I like the fellows that work over there. They've always been good to me for 20 years, you know. Like Bob and Lee, pretty good fellows, you know. I don't know about that Lee, you know, but I like that Bob. But, uh, <laughs> he's all right, you know. I just don't know about people, seriously. And the more you get to know people, the less you like them. And you start finding out that they're not sincere, man. That they don't care about God and they don't care about nothing, man. Well, I'm always talking about God, man, because I got a conscience and I fear the Lord. I really do, you know. People, you think it's just talk. It's more than talk. It's the way I live my life, man. With care and respect and love. 
you know, but it doesn't mean that I don't get aggravated. 